Okay, so I've got three two by twos on here now to make sure they're all tied together. And then I'm gonna get them all level. I've got a couple levels here so I can just verify that they're all flat. Cause I noticed uh, this one, if I turn the black level, if I flip it over, uh, it doesn't read the same as when it's on one way. So um, I've got this level here, dead center, and this one in the spot that it also says dead center. So hopefully we got it. two or three readings there is good. <laughs> but uh, I got the jack under here to get this level. And now I'm just going to put some tack welds right there and right here on the angle iron on the trailer. And uh, then once I've got that done, I'll end up cutting pieces and tying it in right there. So um, basically I'll end up having a bigger thick piece right here uh, to make sure that this stays, you know, on the most leveraged part of the piece here. I've got it tied into the trailer. Um, so that's how this is going to be. All right, so I just got done welding the rails on here for the carriage to roll on. Um, the way that I did this, uh, to make sure that it's parallel with the bed, is I made this here. So I measured five and a half inches down, um, which is where I wanted that rail to sit, and drew a line on these um, chunks of these blocks here and then screwed them onto this piece of angle um, and then got it roughed in so it was all roughly level and then I took my square and set it on here like that and then just made sure that it was at five and a half so did that and then had some c-clamps on there that I clamped it all down when it was in the right spot and then uh welded it stitch welded it along there um, same on the other side all right so i'm almost done with the next thing i'm doing here uh, basically i'm just welding these gussets in here um, to give these a little bit more stability um, on uh, my last one here let's see what i'm doing welding all the way around this thing might be overkill but eh, better overkill than underkill so um, I also plan on welding a two by quarter piece right here I'm not sure if I'll go uh, this whole length here like from the top all the way down to here or not but I might I'm not sure it depends on how much material I have um, and uh, then I'll probably also do something out here. Maybe just a piece of uh, like Schedule 90 pipe underneath here. Just to give the all the way out on the edge some support. Um, I'm not sure about that just yet. What I'm going to put there. Alright. I just got done welding in the Schedule 90 pipe. Or 40 pipe. Whatever it is. I don't know. Welding the pipe in there. Decided to just go on one side. I figured that would be plenty to keep it in place. Well, today I am painting, seeing how it's a nice day out. And it's looking to be one of the last nice days that we're going to have here in the season. Um, it's going to start getting down 50s during the day, maybe 60s, and I'm just worried it's not going to be warm enough for paint to dry. So today is going to be. 70 high 60s 70s and i'm gonna try to get this all painted with a brush um, which is going to be a lot of painting i might try to do two coats if i can but i'm doing it here with uh caterpillar yellow um, i like how this is going to look and i'm going to use gray accents probably for the rims and the uh, blade guards but I'm just going to try to get the trailer all painted here today. Well, we're nearing the halfway point. Maybe. I don't know what you guys think. 
definitely gonna have to put another coat on it but looking pretty good this paints nice and thick I like it it's gonna be a good coating I think um, to put on here to protect from rust and stuff all right got it mostly painted here I still need to jack up this side and take the wheels off and paint behind the wheels here um, but the majority of it is painted I also need to get underneath and paint underneath on a few spots but I uh, went pretty heavy at the end here with my paint when I knew I wasn't gonna run out and I wish I would have gone a little bit harder at the beginning a little bit thicker you can see it's kind of thin so I'm gonna have to do second coat here on some of this which the second coat will go a lot faster I think so I won't be as worried about trying to get everything but looks pretty good I think I like it I think it's gonna look sharp with the gray accents 